The recent visit of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to Nigeria, celebrated as a milestone in strengthening ties with the African nation, took a controversial turn during a press interview. The altercation between Prince Harry and the chairman of the Nigerian Diaspora Commission, Honorable Abk Dabiriaba, has ignited discussions about royal protocol and respect. The visit, which was intended to highlight the couple's philanthropic efforts and Meghan's newfound connection to her Nigerian heritage, saw an unexpected twist during a press interview. Prince Harry reportedly became visibly upset when Dabiriaba refused to address him by his royal title. The chairman, known for her straightforward approach, referred to him simply as Harry, a move that did not sit well with the Duke of Sussex. Observers noted that Prince Harry's reaction was immediate and intense. He lashed out, emphasizing the importance of his title and expressing frustration at what he perceived as a slight. This public display of emotion diverges sharply from the usually composed demeanor expected of royals, adding fuel to the fire of ongoing criticisms about the couple's handling of their public image. While Prince Harry's reaction drew headlines, Meghan Markle's role in the incident has also come under scrutiny. Critics argue that her influence on Harry has led to a more confrontational and less restrained public persona. Meghan, who has been embraced by the Nigerian community with enthusiasm, was seen attempting to mediate the situation, but her efforts were overshadowed by the dramatic exchange. Meghan's connection to Nigeria which she revealed through a genealogy test showing she is 43% Nigerian, had initially charmed the public. Her participation in cultural activities and her choice to wear traditional Nigerian attire were seen as gestures of goodwill. However, the controversy has cast a shadow over these efforts, with detractors suggesting that the couple's visit has become more about personal grievances than cultural diplomacy. This incident comes amid a broader narrative about the Sussexes' post-royal life. Since stepping back from their official duties in 2020, Harry and Meghan have frequently been in the news, often in contentious contexts. Their visit to Nigeria was intended to be a step forward in their humanitarian work, particularly with the Invictus Games Foundation, which supports wounded soldiers, a cause close to Prince Harry's heart. Dabiri Areva, known for her no-nonsense style, has been a prominent figure in promoting Nigerian interests globally. Her decision to eschew royal titles in a professional setting is consistent with her reputation, though it clashed with Harry's expectations. Clash of cultures and expectations has provided ample fodder for critics of the Sussexes, who argue that their attempts to redefine their roles often lead to unnecessary drama and conflict. Reactions from the public and media have been mixed. Supporters of the Sussexes argue that Harry's insistence on his title is a matter of respect and recognition of his contributions. In contrast, critics view his outburst as yet another example of the couple's perceived sense of entitlement and lack of diplomatic finesse. The altercation between Prince Harry and Honorable Abk Dabiriaba underscores the complexities of the Sussexes' public engagements. While their visit to Nigeria aimed to foster goodwill and highlight important causes, the focus has shifted to personal grievances and cultural misunderstandings. As the couple continues to navigate their roles outside the confines of royal duties, such incidents highlight the ongoing challenges they face in balancing personal identity with public expectations.